friends and welcome to an episode of Tried and Tested. So this is something that a lot of you have requested for. This is an affordable look for a prom for under $50. What? That's insane! From scratch, you know? How cool is that? Okay, if you're not in school anymore, it's okay. This is also applicable to you because you can use this for a night out, for an event, for a wedding. Ready, girlfriends? Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna start with a bare face. Now, um, if you're going for like an event or whatever, right, I think that foundation is quite important because it helps to even out your skin tone, it helps to cover any blemishes that you might have. This is one of the cheapest ones that we found that is actually pretty good for its price. So it's got like SPF, it's long wearing, it's shine free, and it's like supposed to help to brighten your skin tone. So normally, I would use a primer, but since we're trying to cut costs, I would say just make sure that your face is moisturised so it doesn't like flake or whatever, you know what I mean? So for a long event like prom, right, you don't want your face to get shiny or whatever, so powder is kind of a better way to keep it matte for longer and also, you can bring this along for touch-up so you really like press down and I would say don't start with like too much first, like just slowly build it up, okay? You don't want it to look like too cakey. Another tip also, make sure you find the right shade at the shop because otherwise you look a bit ghost-like in your photos, you know what I mean? So if you've never put foundation before, when you're on an under eye, you look up, okay? Then you cover your eyelid. So we've even up the skin tone with the foundation, but there's still a couple of blemishes around, but because we skip concealer, because we're saving cost, uh, this is a little trick that I do sometimes. So what you can do is you just wet your finger a little bit and then pick up some foundation so it becomes like slightly pastier and then you just dab it over. Ta-da! See? Still can see a bit, but it's better. Moving on to the eyes. If you remember a previous episode, we used this uh, Muji Eye Palette and I really liked it because it's very basic but still like enough to give you like a sense of glam because it's a little bit shimmery. So you can build it up as much as you want. So first I'm going to start with the shimmery bit. I'm going to use that and put it on the brow bone. You want to just highlight that area. Follow the curve of your eyebrow. So this is very nice when the light hits, it's like a thing. <laughs> so then I'm going to use the medium shade and I'm going to put it all over my lid and also bring it up just a little bit more. If you want to blend out something, you use a finger that you haven't used yet on the eyeshadow and you just like kind of like dust it up. So now I'm going to take the darker colour and put it on the outer corners of my eye. And you see, you just, on the outer corner, you just kind of like push it in a little bit. If you're not using a brush and you still want to get the precision, what you want to do is get a name card or something just so that it doesn't go out of place. And you can still kind of get that cat eye effect. Thigh application. For the darker shade, right, I will only put it on the outer corner of the eye because it's like if you have Asian eyes like mine, if you do all the way, a little bit like avocado. Avocado is like black eye. <laughs> kind of <laughs> Next, what I'm going to do is take this gold shade and put it right in the centre of both eyes because that helps to open up the eyes more. So just here and here. Okay, and then you blend it. These colours are very safe and neutral. You can't see massive mistakes and still makes you look like glammed up. If you want an extra little shimmer, take this white shade that we put on the brow bone early on. Put it right in the corner of your eyes. That will help to open your eyes a bit more. Okay, so then another thing you can do is, this is like one of those like free eyeshadow applicators, right? So as you know, we were on a budget, so we couldn't afford the eyeliner. So this is how you cheat it out. So you just take like the tip, dip it in water, take the darkest colour. It makes the shade so much darker. See the corner is like much darker. This is great because it really helps to give the definition. Oh wait, you know what? Let me try something. Let's see whether this works. If I take the fatter end, I picked up some of the gold, finish the lower lash line all the way to the inside. So what I'm doing is, when you wet the gold, it really brightens it. Like, the colours become a lot stronger. Next, eyelashes. So we've decided to skip the mascara because that's an additional cost. So we're just going to go with the eyelashes because it still gives you the volume and it also really helps to open your eyes, which is what mascara also can do, but falsies just get there a bit faster. We have lashes like these, which are available for like $2. And some of them even come with their own glue. You're going to be careful with this. Um, use tweezers. Oh. So I took it out of the box, but then it broke. Which sometimes happens, you know, with your eyelashes. And if it's on the day itself already, you have no time to go and get another pair, do not panic. There's always a way to save it. So I don't always use the full lash. Sometimes I just use the back end and then I just put it on the outside. You're just gonna cut it like where it's ended here and also cut the inner corner to apply the glue. Put more on the ends because that's usually where the lash starts coming out from. Okay, so with falsies, actually you should 
would still curl your eyelashes, but if you don't have an eyelash curler, then I'll show you a little trick later on. So this will give you like a more defined, but also quite natural kind of look, you know what I mean? You want to get the falsy as close to your lash line as possible. Yay! Done! See? Ding ding! Ding, ding. Okay, remember earlier we were talking about how you need to curl your lashes even though you're wearing falsies? The reason why you need to do that is because your falsies kind of go like this, but then your natural lash, well Asian lashes at least, are usually like this or like this. So you can see that there's like two layers. So you want to like bring them up as close as possible. Basically, you are sticking the real lashes to the false lashes. So you're going to take like your bobby pin and your glue, and then you just coat it with the eyelash glue. Take the bobby pin, and then you just like, kind of like stick it on. Same thing on the other side, just bring it up. Okay, so problem solved. Okay, so you have to draw your brows because your brows will help to frame your face. So this wonderful multitasking eyeshadow palette, you can draw your eyebrows with the darkest brown. I'm going to try use this and see if we can get some eyebrows did. Oh, that's not too bad, not too bad. You want to go short, repeated, soft stroke. And just follow the curve of your eyebrow. So you see this half of the face, it looks like more complete and it's framed better. So I'm going to do the other side. This eyeshadow palette is really very good. You can use all over the face. Now we're going to do the blush. The blush is important because you know you've already put the foundation, so it's taken out some of the redness or the colour from your face. And then now you have your eyebrows and your eyeshadow done, so you've got to match the colour all the way across. Now I like this blush a lot because uh, of the colour and the way it applies. Um, the sponge is looking ever so slightly suspicious, so I'm going to take off the sponge and just do a finger application. Spread it out. This gives your face a bit more colour and a bit more like life, which is nice. Next step, lipstick time! This is from Daiso, it's $2. So if you have drier lips like me, you can always top it off with like clear gloss or lip balm, Vaseline. That one also like a very cheap one. So if you don't feel like leaving your hair down, what I'm going to do is put it into a low bun because uh, I think it's quite light, sophisticated and very simple to do, like this. So you just grab it and I'm just going to leave it at the nape of my neck. Twist it, turn it around. Okay, so if there are any stray bits, just like use a bobby pin and just uh, pin it. We're ready for prom. We're ready for prom. <laughs> Feel young again. <laughs> okay, we done. We done, done. As you can see, it's pretty okay huh, to put together a very nice look. I would still say <laughs> for like about $50. If you want to find out more about the products, how much they cost, where to get them from, go to the featured products album on the tried and tested Facebook page. And if you haven't already done so, please go and download the Click Network app because you can watch all the videos before they hit YouTube. Oh, you'll be the first. Okay, in the meantime, go be beautiful, have an amazing prom. Take lots of photos. <laughs>